Today I resigned as West Ada School District Superintendent, effective immediately. I did not intend to end my career in education this way, but I was left with no good options. As you all know, it has been just over 90 days since the current board was seated. Never once have these board members sought to discuss any legitimate school business with me. Instead, they have focused on ways to undermine and embarrass me and denigrate the past work of this award-winning district. For the past 37 years, I have dedicated my professional life to the West Ada School District as a principal, director, and a superintendent. For 11 of those past 12 years, I have been blessed to work with school boards that demonstrated a strong and wavering commitment to continuous improvement of the district so that we might better meet the needs of the families and students that we serve. Working with these open, engaged, and respectful boards, we collaborated to address significant issues of student growth, declining revenues, changes in academic standards, technology expansion, magnet school creation, to name a few. These boards all provided clear, purposeful direction, empowering the administration and the staff to set goals. These boards brought this district through growth of 9,534 students in 11 years. They allowed us to improve student achievement while weathering the worst economic downturn in our age without the loss of a single job. During that time, our district was recognized for innovation and creativity and for doing a great deal with less. Last year, our high school students earned more than 20,000 college credits, and 47 of them graduated high school with their associate's degrees along with their diploma. Our students' ISAT scores significantly exceeded the state averages. Our staff members have been recognized far and wide for their excellence and achievement year after year. But this is a new regime, and the present school board has engaged in no substantive conversations about student achievement, the district's budget, or even how to make a case for, to the voters for passage of the upcoming levy. Instead, at their insistence, the district administrative staff has spent countless hours pulling my emails, copying them for board perusal, and calculating the buyout of my compensation package. I do not fear this witch hunt and what it may produce. I have operated this district with transparency and honesty. Though I have remained silent until now, hoping that cooler heads would prevail and we would get back to the business of our students, that is not to be. This board has been militating my removal. So I have been negotiating with them to try to reach an amicable resolution that would allow me to resign quietly allowing them to end my valid three-year contract. But the board's final offer literally made me ill. For a pittance, the board would require that I play nice for the next two weeks and then retire on the day after the levy. While I strongly support the passage of the levy to pay for our schools, and it is very much needed for the financial health of this district. I refuse to be dishonest with this community for a few thousand dollars. I value my integrity and the trust of the community above all else. I have strived to ensure that my actions never cause the district issues. But current, cir current circumstances, plus a weighty personal toll, make it impossible for me to continue in my position. It saddens me to say that I was compelled to resign as superintendent of the West Ada School District. My heartfelt thanks goes to the staff of the district, the special sauce in all of the district's successes, and I thank each for their commitment to our students. It has been a joy and a blessing to work with each one, and it has been an honor and a privilege to serve the students, families, and staff of West Ada School District and I can think of no better place to have spent the bulk of my 43 years as an Idaho educator. Thank you.